people not supposed to rub, right? Okay. He rubs. Oh, no, he do that on Pornhub, too. Right. They yeah. do. You said <laughs> the, the, the erotic Pornhub. massages. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. that's probably what it is, an erotic massage. That's mm-hmm. what I like. And then, wham, bam. Because, see, the erotic <laughs> massage is about 10 minutes. So, okay. now, so you don't got... count that into the 20 minutes? What's up? It's lip service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Avian. I'm Carolina. And we got a special guest. Lonnie Love is here. Yay. Hey, yeah. And y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited you're here. And the reason that you're here actually is because of Essence Fest. They said, you know, Essence Festival is coming up. Lonnie Love wants to come on lip service. I said, got him. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that too. So mm-hmm. I heard you you coming, right? I already booked my room and this is the earliest I've ever booked my room. Oh, good. Usually I wait till the last minute and I end up in a shitty hotel or paying like exactly. $2,000 yeah. for And it. I'm sure it was cheap, right? With the coronavirus. It was definitely not cheap. Oh, I booked no. it a while ago. Oh, okay. yeah. And it's going to be called now the Essence Festival of Culture. Okay. And the reason why they renamed it from Essence Festival mm-hmm. to at the culture is that it entails everything that the culture is about. Mm-hmm. So people have to realize it's like this year is going to be great. You have Bruno Mars. This is his first time nice. um, ever being on the main and stage. he's an amazing mm-hmm. performer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Amazing. He is so his good. His music is great. Mm-hmm. And then we have Janet Jackson, who's also returning. And you have over 80 performers, and that's at night. But I actually like the day as well because mm-hmm. the day provides a bunch of stuff um, that's free at the convention center. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what he <laughs> Yeah. So you could just walk up in the convention center and you could see, you know, all kinds of celebrities. Celebrities, but also there's economic forums. There are mm-hmm. all type of screenings, and you know it's just a full day. So you have stuff during the day, mm-hmm. and then at night you party. Mm-hmm. I'm hosting the main stage again nice. uh, this Woo-hoo! year, That's and good. it's the 50th anniversary. It's usually only three days, but because it's the 50th anniversary, they're um, extending it from Jul- um, was it July 1st to, to the, the 5th, 5th mm-hmm. and it'll be for each decade. So Damn. Wow. yeah, That's yeah. gonna be a good Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And for people, I just want to introduce Carolina because yeah. she okay. is my sister in radio. <laughs> yes, cheers. Cheers to that. I haven't and seen you in a long time. Seen, you know what? This is so funny how this industry is so small because yeah, Lonnie and I, years ago, I mean, I don't even remember how long it was ago, but we tested for a pilot together, I think it was. Oh, we yeah. We did like some kind of like a, yeah. a little test for a show. And mm-hmm. just seeing you and your success and watching you with the girls on the reel, I mean, I, I really am. I'm one of those people when I meet someone and I love you, I champion for you mm-hmm. I support so I think it's really cheers incredible to that. so cheers absolutely cheers. God, you know, this the, goddamn positive well, I know right? <laughs> I know sorry I just kind of like and bring it's women's history month so. yes mm-hmm. and we just had international day of the women so yes. you know it's yep. so apropos I was going to say about the essence festival too it's such a great platform for people like you know you're going there you're going to have a good time but you also can learn a lot you know yes. I think that a lot of people don't realize that mm-hmm. um so it's awesome and we take over stage. the whole city of New Orleans oh. if you haven't been to New Orleans yes. I mean come on tell them Ye, the yes. food. Let me tell you, you know, I've been to Essence Festival every year for probably like the past <laughs> seven years. Yeah. It's not a game. Yeah. I remember my first time going. Actually, the first time I ever went, I was with Jay Electronica because I was managing him and he's from New Orleans. Oh, wow. And so he had a booking out there during Essence Festival. And that was my first time because in my head, I always thought it was like, you know, older and like, but mm-hmm. I feel like they really rebranded it yeah, yeah. and yep. did all of that. Yeah. And I've actually been on panels in the main room, on the main stage. And it's a great <laughs> feeling. So My yes. husband went to Tulane and I never really appreciated New Orleans until I went there with him. And then now it is like just for us. It's such yeah. a special place. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the people, the culture, everything about it. Plus yeah. you can walk and drink in the street. I mean, that's the best yeah. part yeah. of it. <laughs> and not get arrested. Yeah. Just get and that's not it. get arrested. That's you can throw up right. in the street too. <laughs> Not get and not get arrested. So yeah. that's, it's good. So I just advise don't go out there at like four in the morning and watch them clean Bourbon Street because you'll be like, <laughs> I don't know. Why? <laughs> right. All but right. I do want to give a quick shout out to Richie Lou Dennis of oh, Essence yes. for keeping this going. It's going to be a great time. July 1st through the 5th. Get your tickets now, mm-hmm. you know, and everything should be calmed down by then. Yes. And there's a lot of random hookups <laughs> that happen. Yeah. In New Orleans, that trust and I'm believe. Sure. That. Yeah, there are guys out there because women think it's just women. No, no, the guys come of course, for the women. They know the women are there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plus, there's some great, great guys that actually live in New Orleans as well. So. They, yeah, <laughs> how do you know about that? <laughs> well, I'll be in New Orleans. Uh, okay. you, know, I, you know, I like the little accent yeah. and everything. Mm. Too. <laughs> Shout out to all my New Orleans guys. Mm-hmm. All right, so we usually start the show off with a full disclosure. So we're going to let Avian start off. Uh-huh. Now, this is when you tell something about yourself. Could be funny, embarrassing, whatever, an experience that happened to you that you normally have not talked about, usually sexual in nature. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Um, 
<laughs> I had a funny experience once um, where the guy couldn't get hard. Mm. That's a topic today. Yeah. And I was... It's not your fault, girl. It's not, right? But in, the mo- but in the moment, right. you're kind of like, what's going on? You know, so, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, you know, we're foreplaying and I'm, you know, trying to like get, get the mood right so he can... Did you suck it? You know, everything. Oh but I think God. he was nervous because it was our first time. Mm-hmm. So I guess that played a factor. But after a while, I was just like, what's going on? I'm like, this pussy? <laughs> I was like, this right. I literally, right. I, literally, <laughs> I literally said that. I was like, you're not going to fuck what this say? pussy? <laughs> he was quiet. He was uh, like, you didn't feel worse. Yeah. And then it really shrunk back in. Yeah. No, but then but then we got it going. <laughs> Turtle. We, we got it going and it you know, it worked and it, it was good, but it, it took some time and I was kind of frustrated. Was because, he older? No, no. Oh, I, he was just nervous, oh. you know, and I was just like, dude, like what are we doing? I was like, this pussy? What are we? <laughs> Literally, I said that. And that was the joke moving forward. Because he, then after, after that. we kept having sex, he was like, oh, yeah, that, that, that. Okay. That's the right. hashtag. So that's like, it. Bing. Every time. Hashtag, Sorry. This pussy. That's it. And it was a Bing. joke for years where he's like. There's nothing worse too if you got to try to suck a dick and it's not hard and it's like mushy. It was, no. it was hard, but then it got <laughs> soft. And then I was like, what was, <laughs> are you, is it me? Or, like, Maybe, I know I'm attracted. Exactly. Maybe you already came. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's when you have that to like could... start smacking it against your cheek or yeah. something just to wake it up. Ooh. See if it's like, you know. <laughs> Hello, anybody else smack it on your tongue? Ever see the uncircumcised one and uh, it's not hard and it look like yeah. a tree trunk or yeah. well, <laughs> you know, a lot of extra skin? He, yeah. he, was, he was circumcised and it was a pr- it was a good looking dick. He mm-hmm. was just nervous, yeah. you know, and I was like, cool. But I had to kind of set, I was like, this, you're not going to fuck this pussy. Mm-hmm. Like, right. t- you missing out. I feel like that would make a guy even more nervous. And then yeah. when they get really nervous like that, they really can't get hard. But then after they a while, like, like well, we kept having sex. He was like, oh, yeah, that pussy. Like, I, I get what you meant there. Okay. I understood that. <laughs> you have a condom on. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> protection at all times, folks. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to hear about me. I'm yeah, having married sex. Oh, I've been do. having married sex for 10 years. Oh, come so on. I don't of course funny shit happens when you're married yeah. and comfortable. Yeah. Well, you know what? Is it if it's a funny story? I don't know. I mean, we have a uh, we have like a coffee table, and then we have like windows on the side mm-hmm. of our living room, and so we have two small children. My kids were outside on the playground, and I said to my husband, "Like, let's just try to get it in." You know, uh-huh. all of a sudden, uh-huh. we look over, and there's like one little face that pops up, <laughs> and we we're like, "All right, I guess that we have to stop now." But they didn't know what we were doing. Mm. My son said, "Daddy, why were you hurting mommy?" And he was like, "Oh, I wasn't hurting her. I was helping her." Helping so, her, right. you know what? You just got to be careful <laughs> yeah, yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Were you saying yeah. ow? I was saying, you know, doing the. You know, oh, you say oh, ow during. Oh, you ever say yeah, ow during sex? Ow. You're like, why am I saying ow? No, they just don't ever hear that, you yeah, know. Yeah, so, yeah. wow. So Were just, the windows open? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. If they're out on the playground, we have an acre. I figured yeah. we get we had time. But as long as you say, can I? You know, they don't say, can I join in? You all right? Then we're good, exactly. <laughs> but then I haven't damaged them forever. Exactly. You know? But that makes it also a little fun, right? The well, fact that's the that risk. You were kind like, of, yeah, yeah of exactly. Caught. Like, let's just do it now like, before hurry, they hurry, come hurry, back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. No so. one wants to get caught by the kids, though. Yeah. Nobody. No, <laughs> I, I, I think that I'll have to pay for therapy later on in life, so they can just bill me. You have know? I ever caught my parents having sex? I did. I definitely did when what I was happened? younger. I'm the youngest of six. All they did was fuck. Like, that's all they did. <laughs> like, my mom was Clearly. a homemaker. Like, oh, my God. So, yeah, definitely. It was embarrassing. Like, after you don't look at them the same way. You know, yeah. they like, all of a sudden become people. You Do you right. ask about yeah. it? Like... Ooh. No, we didn't talk about sex. My mom was always like, no, solo te tengo que decir que no lo puedes yeah, hacer. Yeah. You know, oh. she was just like, you can just never do it. You're never, you can never be sexual. I so. think there were what was one or two instances where I knew my parents were having mm-hmm. sex. It was just too quiet and right. the door mm. was closed. But I'll... I was, you know, I'm, it's not I'm good if it's business. too quiet. Right. You hear yeah, some sounds. No, oh, yeah. Well, I, I think quiet you know, sex is fun, though. Yeah. When you're, like, but then you when also, you're trying to be quiet. Only if they put their hand over But you yeah, also don't want to be loud. <laughs> you also don't want to be moaning kids, with the kids in the house. You know right, what I mean? Right. Yeah. So I would just be like, oh, let me just put my headphones on or something and not even think about it. Yeah. Or if you're in a, ho- if you're in a hotel, you never want to be loud. Yeah. Right? Or do you not care? At hotel, I really don't care. Yeah. I don't want to walk in the hallway and then you see your neighbor and they're like... <laughs> no, I actually yeah. like hearing it in the hotel. I like put you know my ear up. Like, <laughs> yes. Go on. Go on. Okay. <laughs> do it to her. Right, right, right. You know, Are you so, loud during sex? I'm not loud. I used to be. You know, My thing is this. Okay. 
everybody knows I used to be happily single for a long time. Then I started dating a guy. His name is James, and he's mm-hmm. white. And when we first started dating, um, I remember like one of the first times we started having sex, we did it from the back, right? Mm-hmm. And I forgot he was white. Uh. And I looked back, and I said, who the f- who is this fucking <laughs> white man? Yeah, he's <laughs> white. I, no, I actually do forget. Oh, that who is this white man? Yeah, I was like, who is this white man? Who, oh, James. You know, oh, that's James. <laughs> Seriously, we're, we're out, like, sometimes, and, like, say we get separated. <laughs> Alex, my assistant, he knows, like, he'll, like, James will wave and smile, you know? <laughs> who I'm is like, this? who is that white man? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's my James. Man. Yeah. Oh, that's my oh, man. My God. <laughs> and why is he so, you know, you think you got it? And it's like, no, I already got it. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's the only time, like, during sex that like, I've, I've totally forgotten. And then I get, like, and then you it's only like a bit. second. Yes. Can you he know? do things in bed, like call you bitch or stuff? No, uh-uh. No, 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 no. We, <laughs> we don't do no master slave shit. I didn't say that. Hold on. I didn't say that. But bitch, because women, like, <laughs> yeah, like fierce. Do that. You, like, like, you like being called bitch in the bed, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Um, nah. Carolina, he can't. I that. like to be called Miss Love. Yeah. Like, I don't Rowe. think I've ever been called a bitch in the bed. What about a hoe or a dirty little slut? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I feel like a dirty little slut when I'm at yoga Ooh. and I like drink my water bottle and the water comes out a little bit and, and it like, like spills all over my chest. I'm like, yeah, yoga that's slut. right. You spill that water all over me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I know wear a t-shirt wrong and you. you're a mother. And I'm a mother. <laughs> I know. I love no, it. but you don't understand. Your like, t-shirt gets all wet. It comes down a little bit. I always have that thought in my head. Hey, Chloe. Hey, hi. (laughs) Hi, honey. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Do you, you guys you know each other? No. Chloe. Oh, so Chloe's a comedian yes. and a longtime writer. I've known her from way back in the day Forever. for writing for everybody. Yes. But just to fill everybody in on your resume. She, oh, yeah. She was on the train, so she's late. I am, yeah. And I'm like, winded. New York City winded. I know. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, I actually worked across the street. The Source Magazine was across the street when mm-hmm. I worked there. Yes, yeah, so I was a Source Magazine editor, Vibe, and Village Voice, and then... Started doing stand up ten years ago. Yeah. So and I have a book out. Yeah. Fuck All your right. diet. Fuck your diet. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> My book. That's cute. My nose. Nice. I like that cover. <laughs> yeah. So Chloe, thank you for joining. We of were just course. talking about. Um, well, first we were talking about how sometimes Lonnie doesn't recognize her boyfriend. <laughs> And like back. in the street in a when crowd they're having sex. yeah in a crowd <laughs> and, during, and when they're having sex. sex but this is early on I forgot he was white because it was from the back and I was like drunk oh. inebriated I turn around I'm like oh oh oh, oh this yeah, is oh, James <laughs> do you want to drink? oh no I'm gonna start water first you gotta build yourself so up so Chloe let me so then we just started talking about being called names a bit like bitch dirty little slut mm. you know do you like that? Yes. <laughs> I do. It's weird. I actually... Okay, so I like homemade porn. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to see a dirty sock. Oh. I want to see the fitted sheet, like, curled up on one corner of the bed. It's like method acting. Yes. Yeah, because I yeah. want to know that they, like, are there of their own free will. That like, I want it to be, like, a relationship. Just a yeah, that is on the floor. Yes. Oh, that's even better because no, you, no, yeah, no you get more you get more pushback. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, I love, it's more organic. Let me tell you something. I know we're supposed to be bougie and you get older and stuff, but, like, I really like, like, mattresses on the floor. That's right. the best sex. Oh, what about those creaky-ass, like, full-size beds and it's loud and it's like... I, yeah. yeah, that turns me off. I don't want to hear... If I have to hold a headboard while you banging me, that's just too no much box work. spring, nothing. You no. just want it raw, like a the right purest form, form. Right. Right. like college, the purest form. That really is. That takes me back on to like floor. college that was days. College for sure. Yeah. 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 We had to stop that. Turn my back nose hurt. up. I need <laughs> a box spring. I need yeah. a bed set. I need a comforter. No. When did this switch happen for us? Because I, I do know. remember back in the day having yes. sex and like. That you was know. college. Yeah. yeah. That was college and, and preteen. Well, you didn't yeah. have like discriminating pre-teen. taste at that point. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Eight, eight, when I was eight, 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 eight I was having sex on the floor. No. Yes. Oh, on wow. knees. <laughs> with black guys. <laughs> but I do like no, I like, um, but I do like the, the dirty talk. I like I like it a little aggressive. Ooh, because talking yeah. yes. what you like to hear. I like I like um I like directions. Right. Yeah. I okay. like mm-hmm. I like affirmations. Like Chuck on his yeah. dick, yeah. bitch, you dirty little like, like No, that's stick. a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. Sorry. laughs> that's a, that's a tiny <laughs> bit too much. 
But you like like a right there. Oh yeah, that's good. Do you yeah, like, wait, you like, know, she like said affirmations. A, like, we got affirmations. Like, like, yes. like, like you not are all pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you are Smart. gorgeous. <laughs> Like, you know, like, you know, I, I, I like your curves. I like, I like coaching a little bit. I like, coaching I like, you know what good it is? too. Because coaching like, I good. feel like in my day to day life, I'm a very assertive, like take mm-hmm. charge woman. And I want somebody who can be assertive and I believe it. And so mm-hmm. right. like you ever have a man say something to you like, oh, oh okay. Yeah. That's what she, like, <laughs> you know, I like that to be taken aback by my man. Like, taken aback. I think, yeah. I'm, I think oh. I've, I've learned that I'm more assertive in bed. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> Just. I think having like those conversations, that's me. Like I'll be like, that's Do you too like much this talking. Mm. No, doing? no, you can't talk a lot because I think right. if you yeah. having full conversations, yeah, during then you're it's like, like what are we doing? It's just like interludes, everyone's yeah, exactly. Like, but so so how long y'all be going? Mm. So, <laughs> like forty five, fifty minutes. But I mean, really. <laughs> It yeah, depends on how much time you have, but you know what? The, to, My to knees hurt. I can't do no forty five. Look, you get, get twenty. You better get on the bed. <laughs> get twenty. It's twenty fair. minutes is decent. Yeah. Twenty minutes is like a good oh, four session. Forty five or more. That's couple, like when yeah. you know everybody's. That's like you have time don't. to yourself. That's a that's the weekend. Yeah. I think yeah. okay. back in the okay. days for me. Oh, so you you have a household full of people. Yeah. I'm yeah. single, so forty five all the time. Then we ain't got nothing else to do. No kids. Ain't no snacks to be made. Back in the day, constraints over. I wake up too early. I feel like back in the day. People used to um, praise long, having long sex mm-hmm. sessions, and nowadays it's like, nah. Like, Remember when Diddy said he had that tantric sex for like days? Oh, yeah. Sting yeah. said that too. Yeah. Like yeah. Sting used to say that he did yoga yeah. and mm-hmm. then ta- he I looked freaky though. Yeah, so. he does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. his you name know. is Sting. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> no, give me twenty minutes. I got things to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Twenty minutes is, I think, it's good. Show like forty five is great. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think forty five is like once a week, at least forty five minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And does that include like oral sex and everything? Yeah, you not too much. Hear people but like the whole, dick, yeah, the full. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about eating my pussy. I'm not talking. about... Oh, okay. okay. Well, that's some different. <laughs> that's I feel different. like it's like a reciprocal thing, you know. Like, uh, and also just you know, if somebody gets it started, then it's almost like I I would like to return the favor, right? To you, you know, yeah. so yeah. like why not? But give and take. Something to what you were saying too. It's like I almost kind of want to be put in my place in bed. You yeah, know what right. I mean? Like because. I am in control of a lot of things like the house mm-hmm. and your job and your career and it's like I want you to tell me like what you want me to do yeah. like you know so I like that the direction mm-hmm. so yeah. okay yeah, yeah. you're never like, gonna me. look at my husband the same <laughs> <laughs> y'all funny so James doesn't give you direction like no Mm-mm. do you give him direction he already know what I like see I do all that talking pre okay. that's what you mm-hmm. talk over when they buy you dinner mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you say what's the pre talk this is what I like Okay. What you like? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try it. Well, what do you like? You know, Angela. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I like to start off with a massage. Okay. okay. A professional you know. one or from him? No, from him. <laughs> Get that Joss's baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> and oil me down. Nice. See, okay. that's way when he get on top of me, he slides already. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> so I like that, you know what I mean. So that gets me going, you know, and mm-hmm. rub the areas that normally, you know, the warms you up. Massage mm-hmm. people not supposed to rub, right? Okay, but he rubs. Oh, so they, they do that on Pornhub, right? They yeah. do. You <laughs> said like, the, the erotic hub. massages. Yeah. Yes, that's okay. that's probably what it is. An erotic massage. That's mm-hmm. what I like. And then wham, bam, because see, the erotic massage is about ten minutes. So, okay. so you don't got, count that into the twenty minutes into the forty five. Yeah, that's right. You mentioned up the forty. Yeah, but we gonna 45. hold so then we got <laughs> six <laughs> minutes of, of pumping because that's all he gonna yeah. do at like, 50 uh, okay. six minutes of pumping mm-hmm. we get that six minutes so I got four minutes <laughs> so that's now, get up give me some orange juice and that's it oh, oh, that's cool. hey, you gotta get your sugar levels pumping. right <laughs> so yeah, I, mean, you know, massage. I get massage I get orange juice and I get dick it's, it's great good. you know the yeah. first time you guys had sex was it really good because you know sometimes the first time can be awkward because it's no it was good but you gotta understand we're older well you know I'm over 45 I'm 48 years old he's 52 so it's like you already been through everything you know and it's just I feel like it's different that's why I say in my new book you know I tried to change so you don't have to it's like when you get older when you get in them 40s that sex is just you know what you want you know how you, you can tell the person how to hit it and you it, I just feel like you appreciate it more right I think as you're younger and when you're Avian. married, you can mm-hmm. experiment and stuff like that. But when you hit them at 45, girl. <laughs> Avian is the youngest one in here. Yeah. How old are you, baby? 29. Oh, oh girl. Oh, oh, you oh, got a long way. Oh, my oh, 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 Here, okay. make me another okay. drink. You're so young. She okay. need another drink. Please make me another drink. Oh, my you gosh. Got, you got so got much sex in your Wait, life. Wait, did, your, your, like, did you get your whole years out? 
Are you at the are you yeah, at the end of your whole years? I, I think I've gotten those years out. I, I think I'm. I, I have some pretty good sex. I'm pretty experienced. I know oh what, yeah, I know what I like in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Um, what you like? <laughs> I like to get my pussy eaten. Okay. Um, I, I'm a pleaser too. Yeah. So I find joy in pleasing my man. Mm-hmm. You know. Um. So I'll suck his dick. Mm-hmm. That turns me on. That gets me more wet. I love. Okay. I love. I, I can tell um, you 29. By the way, you said I suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> the it what you said, pussy. I like my pussy. Like my pussy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pass me that. I'm trying to please. <laughs> Um, Thank you. No, but yeah, I'm I'm also assertive in the bedroom because I think some guys, like guys are used to just having sex and like penetrating and mm-hmm. that doesn't always work for me. Mm-hmm. You got to hit my spot. So I have to kind of guide people, you know, like do it like this or yeah, I like it like that. That takes time though. Yeah. You know, I think there are a lot of impatient men out mm-hmm. there that aren't willing to like put in the time to figure it out for you. Yeah. And those are the ones that go away. But you away, also have to you know, know your body, mm-hmm. right? Like you have to know your body and know what spots they need to hit or what positions and, mm-hmm. and I, I'm kind of aware of my body already. Well, that's why so. I tell women to experiment with themselves because mm-hmm. you'd be surprised at how many women have never don't had know. an yeah, orgasm sure. with mm-hmm. a man yeah. or anybody. They don't know what that feels like. Yeah, right, they don't yeah. even know what area what or spot they, you yeah they don't hit. even know what their vagina looks like yeah. i have friends who've never actually not anymore because i'm like mirror. yeah take a mirror and look at your vagina mm-hmm. like see what it looks like so you can know if anything is wrong right. you don't know and you panicking about something yeah, you see that white stuff coming out go to <laughs> right? the doctor yeah. 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 exactly if it's yeah. green go to the doctor <laughs> yeah. if it's any type <laughs> of it's any other color. Color. You know, but most people don't do it you know did you see the goop thing where gwyneth paltrow oh, has was like, a goop camera exactly if you have that then you definitely need to go to the doctor go to the doctor if it's like any color, go to the doctor. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but you should. I mean, that's the one thing. It's like if you're uncomfortable with looking at your own vagina, vagina you right. can't mm-hmm. expect somebody else to be looking at it and mm-hmm. understand what's going to make you tick yeah, or what's exactly. going to get you off, you know? So, mm-hmm. well, on to that note, we do have a gift for you, Lonnie. Oh, here you go. We all picked it. <laughs> Vibe. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Is this the mini one? So yeah, you're good with that. Uh-huh. Is that the mm-hmm. is that the app control one? Now I have something for all of you, so don't worry. In your worry. favorite color, it's purple. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's for you. Thank you. Now, Carolina, I had something here that I told you you can't handle. Okay, try me. I might have <laughs> you it. You sure? I'm not sure. All right. I'm scared. Have you ever been with a black guy? <laughs> yes, I have. Actually, I said that too fast and too enthusiastic. So. Oh! That's the one I want. Yeah. I'll change you on it. That is it. The fact Can you thing. handle it, though? You know the what, though? Because you're very busy, you can use this in the shower. Oh, just, it's a suction cup. You put gosh. it right there. So can wow. she handle it is the, is the question. Can you what handle that? Can you handle it? Can I, absolutely not. No, I don't think. Heavy. I, I'm not going to sell myself. That is. And it's circumcised. No, that, that is. That is. That is, that is you, but that, when you talk about tantric mm-hmm. sex, you need to meditate before that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, absolutely. I need to get myself I into a higher level. Everything. Now, yeah. You need to stretch you need before to pray. this. <laughs> you need to pray. You need too. to stretch. You you're to going pray. to the doctor after this. Just and know. Yeah. After this, you're going to the doctor. It's funny because it's eight inches with the balls. The balls included is what takes it up to the What's eight the inches. Width, it's like What's a platform heel. Yeah. And it has yeah, a suction cup, I think, at the yeah, bottom. You put it, it on the wall. So you can just really? put it on the wall. And What's go the down. width? What's the width? It's heavy. So it's a fat D. It's called the D by Doc Johnson. Now, Full disclosure, has anybody in here ever been with somebody whose dick was extremely big like this? I no. am. Yes. A size. Like that? The width Queen. is 2.7 inches. <laughs> like that? But yes. <laughs> I have been with many a big dick man. That and big, I have, I have actually crazy. been with somebody that big. So how that, do you prepare for and that, And he had Chloe. to coach me through it like Lamaze. <laughs> mm. Like breathe. Yes. Yeah. All right. We we all right. So you, got you, this you had to meditate through. Oh, it. you do. Oh. Yes. For real. Communication is good. Yeah. Did you get a urinary tract infection? No. You got. You always got to pee before that. You always got to pee. <laughs> and after. Oh. And, and after. after. Yeah. yeah. You got to yeah. pee. Okay. So tell me, what's the instructions for uh, sitting on a dick this big? You know what it is like. With this particular man whose penis was that huge, mm-hmm. he literally was like, "I know it's big, but we can do this." <laughs> And he like every little pu- push, he would just be like, "You got it, you good, you it's good, a pep you good." Coach, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Van Sant that dick up in this puss for sure. Because wow. a lot of women probably have saw it and then they said, "Nope, I yeah. can't do it." Get Did out. you enjoy it? Or was yeah, it like painful? Really good. You know what it is? He was he was very gentle, knowing okay. that he that's had right. a big. Of course, right. he got to yeah. ease yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew what he was you working with. You can suck that though. 
Um, you know, I mean, you try. For you gotta lick get the side. Like, I mean, it, like, <laughs> yeah, just lick on if it. You see that in real life? You gotta like yeah. go. You gotta you tell the story. You gotta, go ah, <laughs> you gotta go for it. You gotta try. try. It. You no gotta way. try. Yeah. Deep yeah. Throat in that Put dip. some little. Rosebud slob on the corners of your mouth. And, yeah. Even um, if it's just a tip, you got this lady. Like, you just once. lick the tip and lick the t- tip and mm-hmm. lick the sides. And, yeah. yeah. The funniest thing about it is like when I felt it. You know how this you feel the dick and you just like this man wait. Out of? <laughs> and then I was like, no, it can't be this big. And he was like, no. It how does is. he like, walk around very, with that? Mm-hmm. Just, I don't know. They. He got to have a dick girdle. How was it? Feel, yeah, exactly. Or like a bro. You how know, was like, it when he was soft, <laughs> though? Boobs? When he was soft, I don't know. Like, I mean, I didn't touch him before he got hard, so right. I don't know what it's like when it's soft. But, but why it was... got to be black like this? That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> accurate. You know, like Doc Johnson. <laughs> you know what I mean? Doc Johnson. Like, like, <laughs> now, okay, is James going to be upset when you bring this home? No. Oh, y'all really switched for real? He don't. <laughs> no, I, 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 Lonnie, you, you don't see that luggage? You didn't see that luggage? You better, see, you you better check that, that in. You better yeah, not check. carry that on. You right. better check that luggage, honey. Do not go through TSA with that big old dick. That would be hilarious. Lonnie you needs to go through that. <laughs> She's like, that little old thing? Yeah, when well, she I'm had like, to do that, that, I wasn't trying to, to be rude, it. but no. I was like, <laughs> She's like, that? Like, that shit look like a purse the way you hold it. Okay. But it's got a luxurious velvet finish. Come on. Total length is 5.2. The width is one inch. That's no. like eight by not three. Having it. But my see now this is the question. Like, do you do you travel with sex toys? Because I travel with like something like yes. that. I would never travel with that. Don't you worry. worry. Oh, you got something for me? Oh, okay. I have something for her too. <laughs> really? <laughs> is it? <clears throat> okay, let me see. Now, have you Nothing ever? Will compare to do yours. you like anal sex? Um, I have tried it. I'm not a pro at it. Okay. Yeah. Well, this will make you doubly excited. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> we got a little DP <laughs> double dipping D action. So you can actually have sex from the front and the back Look simultaneously. Thank you. I, mean, I appreciate it. It's two dicks? It. Yeah, it's all connected. So then where is the... Oh, okay. But this front is the, it's, oh, it's a DP. Oh, like oh, so so you put them up yes. like... Yes. At the same day. Oh, so it's like you're having a menage a trois. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's double yes. penetration. I see you eyeing it, Lonnie. You want it? You want it? Lonnie, come on. You can't have which them all. Which one you Is this want? reminding you of your boobs? Do you want this? <laughs> is this almost like a white elephant? Like you trade whichever one you want? It is, right? Like a sex toy trade. Wait, I got to see what the next one going to be. So, I might keep uh, my no, black dick. That oh, you do have an asshole. Oh, you do. That's great. Avian? Avian is single, right? I am single. She's single right now. I'm single too, but how long have you been single? Whoever been single the longest need to get this DP going. Um, Almost five months. Oh, okay. No, I've been single. Chloe's like, I've been single. How long have you been single, Chloe? Oh my gosh. Uh, about nine years. Nine years? Yeah. But you've had Tris in between. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I stay. I yeah, stay. I say Tristan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, but in a serious committed relationship, it's been a while. Like, once I started doing mm-hmm. stand-up comedy, it's kind of been hard for me to Why? be in a relationship. I tell people that all the time. Why? It's very hard. You're traveling. Because you're always on the road. Like, always. Like, since January to now, I've been out of I've been out of town 15 times. Like, wow. just yeah. even when you tell a guy and meeting them, it's like, I travel a lot. Like, guys be like, oh, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. they don't put any importance on what we do because they feel like once you're in a relationship, you should want to be in a relationship. Right. And it's like, yeah, you have a nine to five. I got to go to Denver and then Nevada and go to Chicago and come back home. Like, this is my job. So mm-hmm. a lot of times men have a really hard time dealing they really with it. They, yeah. The ego just can't handle you being busier than them. Not Would you even like funny. a guy that was uh, working from like the road and could travel with you? I would appreciate that. I wouldn't want him with me all the time because I don't want him <laughs> slow down with no, all that. No, yeah, right. I want him to be. I want him to have a flexible situation, but I wouldn't want him to feel like he needs to be a part of my team because that's just a whole host of problems. So I don't what's deal with. what's your ideal guy? You've been single for nine years. That's yeah. a long time. Yeah, um, I would say, and I think also it helped that I was single for that long because I had to transition from being a journalist to comedy, and then I had to deal with that, and mm. then also like really give myself permission to seek this career. Career, Because mm-hmm. I think a lot of times when you're a woman, you want to be apprehensive about like putting yourself first. And like, it seems really right. egotistical. Like, I'm going to be on TV. It's like, people are like, chill out. Like, right. come on, calm I down. Like, do. that's, mm-hmm. you know. So for me, I had to really stand firm in what I wanted to become so that I can meet the person at the level that I need to meet them right. at. And so I think I would like somebody who's in a profession similar to mine, who mm-hmm. can work independently mm-hmm. or take time off. But, um... You know, I'm excited to see who that person's going to mm-hmm. be. Yeah, I'm sure he's out there or yeah. she's out there somewhere else. In the meantime, double penetration at home. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you when the time is right. It's right. I so relate to what you just said because mm-hmm. I spent time, you know, and I talk about it in my book about how I had to do the road. And that's the thing, Angelique. They try to say women aren't funny, but you don't see a lot of women yeah. because 
when I started doing comedy long ago, it was a lot of females. And then you know they start dropping off. Mm-hmm. And they start dropping off just because of what she just said. Right. It's like you got to do the role. Yeah. You're out every weekend. Mm-hmm. And I, the only thing I would say to you is to find that balance. And I'm sure you're working on it. Mm-hmm. Because you don't want to get where you are. And that's where I, I got where I was. And I was like, I don't have nobody around mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So just try to find that balance, you know, and mm-hmm. and before mm-hmm. you turn around and you look and you like 52 and you're like, <laughs> right. wait, what is happening? Yeah. And everybody else has people, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. I know we have the careers and you're funny and it's going to happen, but mm-hmm. there is a happy balance yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'm definitely working on that. That's like my goal. Mm-hmm. Right. I was supposed to go on vacation and then I had to cancel it because of coronavirus. So, you know. Damn it, oh, man. To you. <laughs> I, know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, I wanted to speak to the timing too, because when I moved to New York, I became, I was out of a really terrible relationship and then I just decided I was going to invest all the time in myself. So I was celibate for two years. I did not have sex with anybody for two years. I dated, I fooled around, but I really concentrated on who I was. Mm -hmm. And by the time I met my husband, who was the first person that I ever dated after, like when I, that I really got serious, um, I knew that I wouldn't have been in the right position to meet him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I did all of that internally and it was hard work, you know, especially getting out of a a relationship like that. But, um, it was the best thing I ever did for myself. And I think as women, it's good for you to take that time to really find yourself Mm -hmm. because women are, I find that women, we are more like emotional and vulnerable. There are definitely guys like that too, but I feel like women tend to lose themselves more in relationships. Right. But you're happily single. Yeah. Let's be clear. Cause she went through a, situation. Yeah, I'm happily single. I think it's because I I definitely realized that I needed to find myself and Mm -hmm. I needed to focus more on myself, Mm -hmm. even my career, Mm -hmm. you know, just to go harder. And, you know, kind of like what you were saying about how people think women aren't funny. A lot of people have these misconceptions when it comes to women in entertainment in general, because Mm -hmm. even me, I'm a music producer. And a lot of people will look at me like, you produce? Mm -hmm. You? You did that? That's you? Like this they, pussy? Yeah. This pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this pussy. Yes. Yeah. But people have that misconception that like, oh, women are not as creative or mm-hmm. as talented right. or as funny. And you got to prove yourself. And I think mm-hmm. when you're single and focused on yourself, you can really go hard because yeah. you sometimes don't really have those distractions, mm-hmm. you know? I'm so, glad yeah. to hear you say that because I was in that years ago I feel like I'm the grandmother of this group right now <laughs> no, not the mother at all. Did because I was in a really bad relationship and one day it clicked to me and said all the energy I'm trying to do to put in this relationship let me take that energy and put, put into yourself. my career mm-hmm. and focus on my life and when you do that but it has to click yeah and when you do that I always say I was a satisfied single I was satisfied single mm-hmm. for 10 years mm-hmm. you know and then until I got on my talk show mm-hmm. everybody didn't believe me they just right. didn't I'm like no there are women out here who are striving yeah. that are trying to focus mm-hmm. and that focus is is there and I promise you, when you do focus, I, I really believe that once you do that focus, that person that you're looking for comes. will come mm-hmm. to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just going to take some time, yeah. but it will come. You have to trust the process. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you think James is the one? Oh, definitely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm gone now. He texts me. We te- It was like, it used to be when I would go on a roll, I couldn't trust. I could not trust. Or you'd be like, oh, man. You know, you would hate to... Um, come back and hopefully, and this happens to guys too mm-hmm. on the road. You know, they come back and they find them in bed with somebody else, or you know, they were impatient because right. you're gone. Right. Mm-hmm. It's not like or that. insecure. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. And I have this feeling of peace. And when you have this feeling That's of peace, great. I have this feeling of peace with James. You it could is do anything. the most awesome. So it helps me to be a better woman. Mm-hmm. So, but I tell women that's what you have to find. Right. But it just took it just took time. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just want to be in a relationship just to prove a point. It right. Has oh, to be you the have right to be I'm honest marvel. with yourself. Yeah. I marvel at people who are always in relationships. Like yeah. I just can't. Like like yeah. I also like I marvel at people who have like naturally flat stomachs. I was like I don't even know how you exist. <laughs> like I don't I don't know how it's possible like right. to meet people. Who, like my brother is my brother and I are 15 years apart. And he lives with me. He always has a girlfriend like but long term and I'm like how do you even mm-hmm. get into a really I, I don't know how people do it's it com- it's more comfortable I think yeah. it's harder to look 
internally mm-hmm. and try to figure out like, okay, where did I go wrong in a relationship or how can I be a better mm-hmm. person? How can I be the partner that I want to be for the person that's yeah. eventually going to be but my it's, partner? It's also you know? tough continuing to be in relationships and not having that time for yourself because mm-hmm. you don't get to look at yourself that way internally. And maybe, some people don't want to though. Yeah. But then right. maybe that's your relationship tough. isn't yeah. as great as it could be because you haven't done that work. So you're just jumping from relationship to relationship and not doing your own internal work work and your relationship could th- strive and thrive better if you did work on yourself Absolutely. so sometimes when you're just jumping every time I look at Lani I just see this big dick sitting on her side I know it's a, it, it, every time you can't I, even have a serious conversation, have conversation this dick this is just dick, on her leg dick is in a way that's big, big dick, dick envy that's what that is oh my god like every time I look over I just, it's like it's just trying just to be there. serious it's always there it's always there, serious it's always serious, there. You know? now I want to ask y'all something and I was uh, looking at what Chance the Rapper did for his anniversary with his wife right mm-hmm. he actually went to had the radio station do a one hour a playlist commercial free for his wife for their an- one year anniversary right in Chicago which I thought was super cute that's that like a so very sweet. thoughtful yeah. present mm-hmm. yeah. so what's the nicest present most thoughtful present that you ever got when I was in college, my boyfriend made a mixtape. Remember, oh my, it's do, always a mixtape. It's no, Stop. But, but yes, you're that, right. That was before you, you, you millennials and youngins had you know what you could do easily. Right, he, he pause. had to hand pause, yeah. tape, <laughs> record. pause, record, tape, cut it. <laughs> and he made me the best, and it was on the tape, um, cassette tape, and it was just wonderful songs that he thought about for me. That has been the greatest, most thoughtful gift that when I was younger that I received. So now they can just send you a playlist. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now you can just pick, pick, pick like that. But to be able to have to, you have to right, go get the record. Right, time and all effort. of that. What songs was on there? It was like, <laughs> Al Green. Then mm. at the time, it was like um, Troop and okay. you know, Troop. All I spread my wings. <laughs> See? See? Oh my okay. gosh! That yeah. was yeah. 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 Good the yeah. young that is Troop. amazing. <laughs> spread my wings. Yeah, yes. damn it, man. Fly <laughs> away. No, <laughs> that is a nice gift. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Mine would have to be kind of along those lines, but it was a little different. So this is when I was in college, right? And I went to the prom with this guy, and he was like six foot six. So he mm, played basketball you. in high school. Still in my tall man. Look, he done made a um, <laughs> highlight video of his basketball moments and he rapped on it. Mm. <laughs> was that for you or for him? It was for me. <laughs> that was what he got me as a present. It was a VHS tape and he's rapping and with his over his highlight reel for basketball. Oh, that is so cute. It was for you, but it was really for yeah, him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But he was like was. rapping was. about me. Yeah. Oh, I was oh, like, oh, kind of like oh, Soulja Boy on 90 okay. Day Fiance. Oh, so yeah, that's okay. like his two okay. favorite things was you <laughs> yeah. and basketball. Actually, that's cute. It is if it was a better rap. Well, I feel like this is like... Take it. Oh, yeah, she had to give the day. No, I feel terrible because it's kind of taking it in a different direction. But like, I have a thing about churches because I think like churches have such history. Like, if you go to different mm-hmm. countries and you want to mm-hmm. see like what the country is about, you go to a church. And I right. love churches. So my husband went to Thailand and he visited a bunch of temples. And in each temple, he brought me back a memento because he knew that. I know he I wasn't stealing stuff there the with him. No, 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 no. You take, you can take like a little. There were like little uh, pieces or prayers, and um, uh, he brought them back sweet. for me because that's he said I couldn't thoughtful. be there with him. That so. is so cute. That's, that's very yeah. that's that's a, rich, a rich way of doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he was in Thailand. That's <laughs> that's that's very nice. thoughtful. I couldn't go. We got the set taste. We just take it. That was very that's so sweet. Cute, though. You know, so I know, but then I'm bringing like religion into it. That's so cute. Don't be thoughtful. Yeah, religion gets sexy too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what about you, Chloe? Oh my goodness. I would say my my last boyfriend bought me my dog. Mm. My, my, little, my little pug Winnie. And I've had her for 10, 11 years. Did he like beef with you over the dog or Mm-mm, like no? It was so um so my last relationship, you know him. Um yeah, we were complete opposites. That was your last relationship? Yes. Okay. I know, yeah. Um so we were complete opposites. So I was like very like high strung and like, you know, always trying to figure everything out and plan everything. And then, you know, I kind of like ruined the surprise because I was like, I'm gonna do it for myself. And he was like, I already got you a dog, just chill out. And I was like, So let me ask you this. Does your ex get to visit the dog? 
dog still and everything? Um, he'll watch her because he lives in the neighborhood. So if, okay. I, if I don't have anybody oh. else to watch her, like one time, like recently she was sick and I didn't want to leave her home. I was like, hey, can you watch my dog? He's like, yeah, Why sure. did you guys break up anyway? Oh, girl. Um, she knows my ex. That's why she's asking this very pointed question. <laughs> um, we broke up because we were at different points in our life and I was just getting into comedy. He had dealt with the loss. Right. We would de- I was changing careers. So it was just like a lot of like changes in our life. And it wasn't that we didn't get along. It was just like... At the point, I put myself first and I couldn't be there for him in that way. And uh, I didn't want to feel sorry about it. So right. I kind of was like, I'm here, but I can't like Damn. be So do y'all still want to be Maybe together? there's a chance? No. No. She said, no. No, no, no. Not in, a, not in a negative way, but I just, it's been a really long you time. Really That's already. tough though. So, and we're not going to say that, but his mother passed away. Yeah. That is tough when you're with somebody and you are trying to handle what you have to handle. But that's a lot that they're dealing with. That's funny because yeah. one of my other homegirls was just telling me a similar situation where the guy she's dating was going through a lot and needed her to be there for him. And she was like, I can't be there for you right now the way that you yeah. need me to. Because I'm a fixer. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to fix the situation and like help him through this grieving process. And it was, it was he was pulling the complete opposite direction. Mm-hmm. So at that point, it just became counterintuitive. And then right. I started to, like, my own energy started to change because I would try to match where he was. And I was just like, I can't feel like this right. all the time. And well, it there, was a long, it, it was an extended period of time. It wasn't like, you know, she passed away and like next week I'm out. It was just like over a couple months, almost mm-hmm. like a year. I'm just like, yeah, this is, it's hard. It's really hard. hard. There are but some people understood. who absorb energy too. It's mm-hmm. like if you're an empath, if you're feeling like what that person is going through, like that can really, like if yeah. you're carrying yeah. the weight and that person doesn't want to grieve or go through mm-hmm. it, that can take a toll on the relationship mm-hmm. too. I you think with me too, grieving is, is a lot different. Yeah. Especially when it's their mother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, they have to go through a lot. So. Yeah. And it's really nothing you can, like, and at the hardest part is, like, there's nothing do. you can say mm-hmm. or do, you know. Right. I would, you know, try to, like, oh, let's go do this fun thing. He was like, no, let's just sit in the dark and watch the game. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't. But sometimes the, people need that. People yeah. need to go through those moments just sitting Absolutely. in the dark to just feel yeah. those feelings and and get through it. I think I mean, if I if I was still a journalist, if I was still if I had stayed in that career, I would have been able to manage both. But it's hard to go on stage and try to tell jokes and be funny right. and then go have to deal with something so heavy. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting cuz sometimes you do have to be selfish, right? Yeah. And you just have to figure out when. Yeah. yeah. I I understand. I have to deal with heavy things now. As you get older, especially you have to you have to deal with heavy things, but I'm able to um compartmentalize depart you know Mm -hmm. like separate because even like with James and his mother she's not at the best of health so I have to you know it's about I hate to say the word balance because Oprah fell when she said balance (laughs) anyway don't fall well you sitting girl you good like (laughs) if you fall now (laughs) I think you know as you and I keep saying older because I just think once you live life you 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 will figure out a way to make it happen Mm -hmm. but I think when you're still trying to find out who you are and discover what you're trying to do that your mind is in a different space so that's what it is Mm -hmm. you know does he have a girlfriend now I don't know. I don't ask. Right. Okay. I don't ask because I think it's, you know, I want him to have his own privacy. We are still very friendly. We're not, mm-hmm. we don't talk about He definitely every day. hit me up like, hey, my um, friend Chloe. I'm like, I know that's your ex. <laughs> 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 but I think that's because we want to just give each, give each other our own identity, you know? Oh and my I God. Think... Would you be mad if your man was watching his ex's dog? Would you be mad if your man was watching his ex? I might be. I might be. But then I I think, you know what it is? That might be, but then that might tell me a lot about him. Mm. Because I feel like somebody who's willing to do that is a very generous and loving person. I think it is. Fuck that dog. And he does. You got to watch the dog. You have to also be careful. What you watching her dog? Can't her mama watch it? Right. She don't got everybody on. I think How also about the other like neighbor? I think also because we've been broken up so long at this point he probably would just say that's my friend like I right. wouldn't even I don't think he would say like oh my ex girlfriend but you know a woman would be right. like wait yeah. what kind yeah. of friend right. is I this I think it depends yeah. on the dynamic mm-hmm. and as a woman you obviously start to you know figure out what the dynamic mm-hmm. is I was dating someone where he used to talk to all these female friends oh lord but he had sex with them prior to no, you know okay. they had sex well, in the past <laughs> They're not friends. They had I sex just, in I the just past. Assume any, then, if any man says he's my friend, I assume he slept with all yeah. of them. I just, oh my God. No, really? Assume. Well, well, yeah. I have a lot Say of, that one more time. Yeah. <laughs> if any man says this is my homegirl, I'm assuming well, that they've had sex. I have a sex. lot of 
<laughs> male friends that I haven't had sex with and were really great friends. But and they I don't would look have sex at with them. you if they could. Of course they would, but yeah. it would well, never uh, get there. I'm not and you're right. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad. But it'll never it would never get there and I don't talk to them sexually. Mm-hmm. And even if they yeah. have a girlfriend, like I'm very friendly. If she comes mm-hmm. around, hey girl, I'm that type because I would never want you to feel uncomfortable or think I'm trying to sleep you're my with type your man. Of girl. Where mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm mm-hmm. not like that. But I was dating this guy and he had these female friends that would call him and call him. And I'm like, we gotta cut that out. Out. Come to find out they used to have sex in the past, but now they're friends. Mm. But the the dynamic was very flirtatious and they were like still emotionally in like attached to him. And I was like, nah, yeah. I yeah. don't like that. That's like, like, I was stuff I don't to like. meet Chloe. Like yeah. I'm like, okay, you watching her dog, I need to meet yeah. her. If if it was serious, depend on the relationship. Yeah. I'm like, let me meet Chloe. And you can tell. You can tell. You can tell. Just with yeah. one like, interaction. Oh, but yeah, I watch yes, the dog. But for the record, know, it's it. like I don't go to his place. I don't go, I like bring her outside. Like I don't go up and sit down. I'm not right. getting a cup right. of coffee and chit chat. Do you mind if other girls like, are like with your dog? <laughs> Oh, I don't care. I'm just yeah, asking. As long as you're the child. Yeah, yeah. She's don't bring my daughter out the bitch. Taking care of. Yeah. 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 And bring my bitch around. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Bitch. Yeah. 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 I think like, it all what? depends on the dynamic. Yeah. Like, like you know what I mean? saw some random girl walking your dog. Yeah, I'd be like, all right, pick up the shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm also very like, I'm like the antithesis. Yeah, I could care less. I don't. I don't get like. I don't dig through phones. I don't. I'm not jealous. I don't care. I really don't care about a lot of things that most women get like all upchung about. Because I feel like I trust on what you have to say to me, and until yep. you say otherwise, then like I don't. That's I'm good. not going to react until you give me a reason to, to react. react. And so okay. I hold you accountable. Like I also feel differently about like cheating. I feel like if you, I feel like you got to define what cheating is in your relationship before you get upset. Like mm-hmm. if you hug a girl or kiss a girl, like I won't be mad. But like, what if, if you, you Facetime? I mean, I would, I would want to know like what is the need for it, <laughs> right. you know, and like what time of day or like. I don't what think is you need to be facetiming time other women if <laughs> yeah. we're together. I don't think you need to be facetiming. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't, yeah. That yeah. don't no, sure. no, but also, like, if it's a generational work. thing, because like I, like I'm 39 and. Yeah. I talk on the phone sparingly on FaceTime, but I know pe- like younger people, that's the only way to communicate yeah, is on right. FaceTime. That's, I think no, that's just, a great point. I think it just really depends on the dynamic, like, you know, the the history, who the, who the person is. Because there are people that have been friends for years and it's yeah. just nothing, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. but then you have other people like the person I was dating where she FaceTime him at 12 at night. Ten in the morning. I'm like, who's this? Yeah. Like, yeah. Who's calling? No, no, that's, no, that's, that's who is not, calling? That's my boy Scotty, who's one of the owners of the studio. We've yeah. been friends since we were. Yeah, exactly. And you like, guys can call young. each other, and it's no problem. Yeah, you know. So it depends on the wife, dynamic. I know his I think. kids. Yeah. Like, was there for their birthdays? For, yeah, and no yeah. issues there. Mm-hmm. That's a different type of friendship. Yeah. Now yeah. let me ask y'all this: since you just said uh, younger generation be FaceTiming and all that, so. For two of you, this is hypothetical because you're in relationships with two of us. For two of you, it's not. But if you had to choose between sleeping with a guy who's 25 and a guy who's 70, what would you pick? 25. (sighs) Now you... Okay, relationship then. 25. Yeah. You well, put yeah, you yeah. put the number up okay. 70, 25. Yeah. I was thinking I'm with going the 25. younger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I, I, I was with an older man like when yeah. I was single, yeah. and it just was not. I'm it, done. It wasn't I'm, for I'm me. finished with older men. Was, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. I'm for, finished. In my twenties, oh, really? Denzo. See, y'all ain't had the right older man. <laughs> 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 you no, know, you get one named Mr. Jenkins. Mr. <laughs> Jenkins, he's he gonna give you that massage. Right, he know how to get you. He know how to hit it. He know where to hit it. He don't take too long because it ain't gonna be long. Oh. It was boring but, to me. But he it makes me like, feel good. Now I'm telling but you. But you see, Lonnie just wants the massage in the arm. Yeah, that's right. what they yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Six six like, like, come here, come here. Make you feel yeah. good. Yeah, come we here. gonna rub that oil on you. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. So, Lonnie, you say 70. Oh, 70 all day. You dated a, a younger... Let me tell you. I dated younger. Let me tell you. Your fitness level got to be up with <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. And 25, yeah, they fitness right. is I'm totally trying to like Gabby and true. D-Wade. Gymnastics. You got to yes. stretch and stuff. I want a Gatorade commercial <laughs> right. with my young boy. Flip me around. <laughs> Gymnastics. Y'all do me. Go, 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 go. I done had a lot of sex in my life, okay? <laughs> them 25-year-olds, I stay away from them, you know, because they good. They're stamina. Giving your check to them and stuff. I'm ready. You, know, you be like, oh, my God. Oh, I can't wait. Heels. Chloe's like, please oh, bring it on. I can't wait to burp my man. Ooh. <laughs> I want him young. Burp. You, you said you burp? burp? I want to burp my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. want to yeah. breastfeed him. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm for real. I'm done with older men. Like, I said that last year, and I no, really mean Chloe, it. No, you got to give it a chance. They'll take you to church. No, the oldest you dated? What about 50? 
You no, do I don't want anybody older than me. Mm. I'm uh-huh. done unless he's like physically fit. What was the because problem? Because that was the it's biggest like... issue. It's erectile dysfunction and alcoholism, mm. and they hit well, it you, so well. You see, it's about the person. Then. Yeah. That's no, what I'm saying. no, no, but, no, but I think the erectile <laughs> dysfunction. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but the erectile young, dysfunction young has to do with get that. erectile dysfunction. I know, dysfunction. but you can tell a younger guy to eat better than an older guy. Right. Mm. No, older they're guys, setting their ways. You could cook so, so, no, but not 25. No, I'm saying the older guys are setting their ways. They want they like baby oil. Come here, baby. Yeah. Some young guys are stuck in their ways too. Some young guys no. just want to eat shitty and, and, and they be well, yeah, no. they do all kind of stuff when they're young. Man, yeah. they be trying to experiment too much. Look, no. <laughs> just give me my massage and my heart <laughs> and my work. I just want to like, I know how I come. Yeah. I like simple things. <laughs> yeah. Give me my Hennessy and my, my vodka. Let's do this. And we good. I think the age difference is too much though. When I was in my 20s, I dated a guy shortly for a short amount of time. He was like in his 50s. And it was like, okay, it was great. We went to nice places. We went, we did fun. Mm-hmm. Things, but it just like the dynamic wasn't there. Mm-hmm. We just weren't on the same page. You know, right. he yeah. wanted to like stay home and watch TV and do it, mm-hmm. and I wanted to be. I was in my twenties. But you were in your twenties at that time, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, but I'm as a forty-one-year-old woman now, thinking like, what I want if. I were in that situation, a 25 year old man or a 70 year old man. I'm all no, I definitely younger. <laughs> but you know, I want to keep it exciting. Though, you know, 25 and 70. What about yeah. you? Um, I'm gonna go 25, of Thank course. You. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Y'all gonna yep. get toe out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 25 year olds gonna run rings around y'all, and I will still be with Mr. Otis. <laughs> <laughs> Boot up, cut it up, <laughs> Mr. Jenkins. If we had to oh, yeah. yeah. have our session at Denny's <laughs> with a grand right. slam. Now, somebody uh, wrote in for advice. So here's the question. I'm very interested in a female who was incarcerated, attempted murder. She was sentenced, and I met her last year through a friend. She has four years left. I visit her, and I put a few dollars on her books. Do you think I'm wasting my time, or should I move on? She can't give me a definite answer on the future. She's a beautiful soul, and I believe in second chances. And there are many jewels in the garbage that simply need to be shined off. What, what? do you think? I say, he sounds like he has a savior complex. Love which after means, lock up, baby. Yeah, that savior complex means that relationship is already unbalanced and he should not pursue it. And he met her in jail while she was in she jail. Yeah, she gets home in her four in years. Life. Yeah. Mm. And she don't know what she want to do. You hear that part, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. She's still commu- like, you have nothing to do but think right yeah. now for yeah, four yeah. years and you don't know what you want to do yet. No, but also because she probably wants to explore when she gets out. No, she's she wants the money on her books. Yeah. Sis is smart. Right she knows what she's yeah. doing. Yeah, she can't say when I come out in four years, I'm going to be with you. She's going to have her freedom. So yeah. she's going to want to. We don't know who else visiting her. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Well, what's your advice, Lonnie? I would say take it slow. I would say date other well, people. You got I think four years. <laughs> you got four years. I say multi date. I mm-hmm. said, you know, that you she locked up, so she ain't gonna know. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. You might in that four years, you really might find somebody out there, you know, but you, we don't know. She may be sincere. And maybe she's taking well, then, her time. murder been charge? What happened like there? That. All I'm saying is I'd rather date a man who date who watches his ex-dog than a man who's dating somebody <laughs> in prison at the same time With an attempted me. murder charge. We get people incarcerated <laughs> a bad rap. No, we, of course. There no, you I go, Get to know him. Get to know her. But I say multi-date. That's Lonnie awesome. got on her jail orange color right now. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> I'm, for, I'm for my incarceration. Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm just I'm saying it's hard to compete with a woman who's in prison. Yeah. What can you this what, there's no comparison. If I'm dating somebody and you, But you, you see how decide. she's intrigued him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the power of women. But I wanna right. know why what intrigued him, being that she's in jail, she has an attempted she murder charge. Key. Maybe he got to know her. You yeah. know what I mean? Like cause all you can do is talk and write. Yeah. So, so y'all ain't so ever you dated nobody do. in jail? Nah. No. Oh, no. Okay. Time for that, Mm-mm. but I will say this though, especially when you talk about the statistics. I see you. I mean, there might be some. I'm sure there's some like really good men. In, I mean, because of how like fucked up the system is, I'm exactly. sure. Yeah, number, that's true. Just a numbers there's game. Like there's a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's that yeah. guy? The Meeks guy, the Jeremy Meeks. He was. Yeah, uh, yeah. He was oh, a trash yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was hot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they want to, I mean, as long as they ain't kill nobody, if you kill somebody, that's what I'm saying. I think it depends on who they kill. She said, depends on who they kill. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. it depends on, yes. Was it in self defense? Yeah. Self defense. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. going to say something so messed up because then it's like attempted murder. Well, then you failed. Then yeah. I don't want to be the right. 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 Okay. So it's like, you did that. That's so messed right. up. Wow. Well, you've never dated somebody that went to jail while you guys were together? No. I'm trying Mm-mm. to think. No. Oh, shit. I, I like get... dumb white boys that did like disorderly conduct. You yeah. know, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like one night, that's it. I think but. for me, being realistic, if I was to date someone that went to jail for a couple years, it'll be over. 
Listen, I'm not going to lie. I dated a guy and he ended up going to jail. And I felt so guilty leaving that he went him. to jail. That I was like, I don't want to leave him while he's locked up. And I was like trying to hold it down and everything. But how long? I would hear about people who have multiple relationships in jail. They like how they do. Have, Let me like, tell you, guys in jail will tell you anything. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah, they But how long you. was he in jail? How long was he sentenced for? It was like maybe like 11 months or something like that. Oh, that's not. That's yeah, not that long. Bad. Oh, you did but I, To be true, I was like 22 years old. Oh, so yeah, it felt much. like a long time. And yeah. I definitely like sacrificed 11 great months of life. It was summertime, you know, when he first oh, so got Oh, so you held it up. down. Yeah, I did. And I had just got a brand new job. So I was working and yeah. I was like, okay, when he comes home. And then he came to stay with me and then he fucked somebody in the house. In your house? So yes. there you go. On Gotta your couch? Go. On your pillows? In my bed. Let me tell you. And I would have been You know how I jail. found out? Because guys are stupid. I was at work. And this particular day, he kept calling me, right? And you mm. know how somebody's like doing things that are a yeah. little weird? Off. He kept you know. like, you were. what time are you coming home yeah. later? Da, 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 da. And he kept calling like every 20 minutes. Like, what's going on now? You still coming home? I was like, all right. I left up. work. I was like, fuck that. I'm going home right now. And I left work to go home. And when I came home, he was holding the sheets in his hands going to the laundromat because I didn't have a washer dryer in my apartment. And he never did the laundry before, right? We've been living together for like three months. He never did the laundry before. So he's walking down the steps, holding the sheets in his arms. I'm like, yo, where are you going? He was like, I'm going to do the laundry. I was like, you've never done the laundry. Just the sheets too. Right. Nothing yeah. else. And I was like, all right, I know what it is. And but what a violation. You know, it's like here you held yes. it down for him for 11 months and then he comes home and then the ultimate disrespect is doing in that house. in your house. Mind you, I got him the job at Ikea so I could steal so furniture. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, there you go. Then he, he messed up your, your racket. Yeah, exactly. I got I furnished my whole apartment from Ikea. He worked in the as is department. So that's oh, where they yeah. put together the stuff and then you just right, right you know the as is mm-hmm. department. The as is. It's like missing one screw. Let me tell you, like, yes. <laughs> and exactly. so he was fucking the girl at the register. So I would come and he'd be like, go to register 11. And he would, they, she would charge me like $2.99. Wow. And that's but the like chick that he brought side, to your house? So I, listen, I got leather sofas. So at VC the end- was getting you hooked up. Exactly. Because <laughs> exactly. I do look at the bright side of things, right? So <laughs> after all of that, you know, I kicked him out of the apartment and then he tried to be like, oh, I want my furniture back, da 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 I said- I, I paid $2 for this furniture, I said, nigga. <laughs> I said, look, we, we did end up having to go to court because I had to get a restraining order against him. Mm. But um, while we was in court, he was like, oh, I want my furniture back. I said, I said, your honor, tell him whatever receipts he has, he can have all the furniture back with those receipts. And that was it. Wow. I got to keep my fully furnished there apartment. You there you go. Yes, Check the receipt. Twenty dollars. Checkmate. <laughs> yep. Later. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't seen them since. Yeah. Check. Good on you. Well, see that the Cheers. moral of the story is that you lived it, lived to tell the tale of it. <laughs> That's know? absolutely right. Yeah. So, all right. Now, one last question for you guys. Um. All right. Please help me. I know my husband for thirteen years, and we were married for eleven years. We have one child together, and I love him dearly, but I'm not in love with him. How do I tell him I want a divorce? Mm. That's really it's hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, um, I she said, I, um, <laughs> uh, so wait, they've been together for 13 years, married 11. They mm-hmm. have one child together. I think ultimately, and I, I'm not trying to be like super um, like political about this, but you have to think about the welfare of the child and how are you going to represent yourself so that later on when you explain it to your child with this person that you did it with integrity. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? So I think that just honesty, being an adult and just coming correct and saying like, look, we got into this marriage. Mm -hmm. I made a promise before, whatever, however you got married. But, um, you know, I'm I'm just not feeling it. I want to do right by you and I don't want to insult you. I think that we need to go our separate ways mm-hmm. before yeah. you start cheating on somebody yeah, or like right. seeing somebody behind their back. But even asking him how he feels too, because he might feel the same way, right? You know, so yeah. just sitting no, down and totally, he the, may have lost it too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I think therapy is number one option before you talk about divorce, especially mm-hmm. since you've been together that long. Mm-hmm. And also, I think we a lot of times in this society think that love is this magical thing. And mm-hmm. over time, it's something that you have to apply and work out every single day. It is work. Yes. My yeah. parents have been married for over 42 years. My grandparents were married for 60 years when my grandfather passed away at 91. So like, I've always been around marriage, mm-hmm. long marriages. And they don't necessarily like each other every right. single day, but it's something that they have to work at. And so I think a lot of times once you feel like, oh, I don't feel the, the, the wow anymore, you just like want to dip out. And I think that person really needs to sit down and go to therapy for the Himself with their spouse, talk about the things that they fell in love with them, mm-hmm. see if you can revisit those things. It's like not, it's not like a next Tuesday get divorced. I think they should 
actively work on trying to bring that stuff back before they go their separate ways. Yeah, listen to her. She had better advice. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Lonnie, yes. what do you think about therapy? Have you and James done that? No, we we're not at that point where we, you know, because we just want to be together. Mm-hmm. It's just funny when you find somebody that you just want to be with, it just it just works. Um, I agree 100% with what you said. I think that we look at these fairy tales, mm-hmm. and as children and young women, we're read fairy tales, and we, we're supposed to believe that our prince is supposed to save us, and we're supposed to be madly in love, and you are so correct. It just Sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. Mm-hmm. But also, now that you've produced a seed you need to make sure that that child will be okay too. I mean, 13, you got five more years, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. try to, you know, people say, don't do it for the kid. It's like, sometimes you do. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you may have well, the to. The kid is what? One year old, you said? Um, or did they say? How old is the child? They said, she said they have one child together. Oh, okay. she but they've been together for like a long time. Yeah. You like know, truthfully, 13. my parents were, have been married for 55 years. They just celebrated their 55th wow. wedding a, anniversary. Beautiful, beautiful, right? And yeah. they've been through every up and down, but like, for me, I've been married for, um, I've been with my husband for 12 years. We've been married for almost 10. And uh, one of the hardest things I had to do was go to therapy with my husband. Mm-hmm. And I had to ask him, I said, you know, this, because it's worth it to me mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. worth it to him. And after we had our second child, there was a lot of like miscommunication, which children will rock yeah. your world. If you don't have a strong foundation, then right. that's mm-hmm. like, you know. Right. So for us, it was really difficult because my husband's not the type of guy that like really shares his feelings, mm-hmm. you know. But um, I just said to him, I was like, this is, it's going to take work. They don't always do the right thing, but you don't either. You yeah, know what right. I mean? So it's like we made a commitment to each other. We went and it changed our marriage drastically, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, for the better. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think that it's like taking that first step and saying like, mm-hmm. we have a problem. Let's solve it. Like, let's try to solve it together. Mm-hmm. And uh, your relationship is going to ebb and flow, mm-hmm. you know. And I, I think especially now that we're older, there are other things that we are encountering that we never imagined that right. we would have to go through. Yeah. Right. Because, you know, you're feeling that, that oxytocin when you meet that person and, you know, mm-hmm. you're just feeling all of the good things. But then when you go through a valley, you got to go through it right. together. And you I know? think another thing is like a lot of times in that situation, you want to make it someone's fault. Like you want to yeah. say, mm-hmm. I'm not in love with you anymore because you don't you do blah, blah, blah. And it's right. like, right. well, you could have changed. They could still be doing the same thing, but you don't respond to it yeah. the same way. And I think 13 years means, you know, if your body cells change every seven, you're a different person than who you were when you first were with them. So you got to take like, that. All them old sex partners don't count. Yeah, they, right. they no. flush out okay. your system. Girl. <laughs> no, like, no, no, <laughs> that's the thing. The grass is always greener. They want yeah. their, their release and their freedom or whatever. And it's not what you think it is. Uh uh-uh. It's something totally different. So. I've been on my friend's Tinder. It is not great. I was yeah. trying to help her. We were talking about like for her. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this guy's not good for you. I'm like, this one maybe. She's like, no, don't do it. You know, I but always say true. that dating on those sites that you have to actually pay a fee for is more effective than yeah. Than that's the how free I found sites. James. We, yeah. we were online and it was it was better because I always felt like if a, if a person pays, they're really they're a little yeah. more serious yeah. mm-hmm. about trying to find somebody Not just and a settle hookup. down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm on Raya. I've done Raya. How's it working out? Um, it's very it's very slow because the pool is so small. Mm-hmm. But uh, Channing Tatum was on it when I went on it. So, Shit! Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Did you try to connect? No, of course. Uh, why not? Did you guys ever see that Channing all over your Tatum song that uh, Jamie Foxx did? Every time I see Channing Tatum, Google it. It is the best thing. He wants to Channing all over your Tatum. It That's is the best funny. song ever. You got to watch it. <laughs> so anytime I see him on there. But yeah, it's like, you know what? You're dating. You're trying to look for people and mm-hmm. you don't know who you're going to have a connection with. Yeah, you right. know, so for some people like, you know, this person who has been in what sounds like a marriage that hasn't been fulfilling for them, you know, take some time and do the work. Do you care about getting married again, Lonnie? No. At this point, I can take care of myself and I don't want kids. So, you know... You have health together. insurance. So you have to what yeah. if he's like, what if he... What yeah, if I he, got he, dental insurance on my own. So. What if he asks you, though? <laughs> you know, if he does, I have to think about it. <laughs> no, because to okay. me, marriage is a contract. Yes, it's it like, is. You know, there's money involved. Mm-hmm. There's, you know, possess- possessions and assets. And right. It's more of a business yeah. thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I don't take it lightly. I think any woman that knows that they're in certain positions need to take marriage because you see, you see a lot of women now, mm-hmm. especially a lot of comedians, mm-hmm. they paying mm-hmm. child support. And alimony. Right. And yep. alimony mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And you have to be careful too because they see you in this limelight and you're like, wait, what? 
You know, I mean, my friend Sherry Shepard, God bless her soul. Oh, yes. She paying for a, a baby that she, ain't even her. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? Who? What? And she got a lot of flack for that, too. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, she was trying to save her marriage. And, and she, she she's publicly it. has said this. So Absolutely. I can say it. Yeah. But she was trying to save her marriage. Mm-hmm. So she did the thing that was best for her. But mm-hmm. that dude wasn't best for her. He was, he had other, you know, um, it, thoughts right and that's what he did so you have to be careful in this game you really really have to be careful so you never know you never know what somebody's plotting you know they you know they see you on tv Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. and people it's really weird because people think that when you're on the road as a woman comedian you get groupies you don't men get groupies we get long-term stalkers (laughs) who plot now hold on you ain't fuck no fans no never Mm -mm. i've lost dick because they found out i was a comedian 15 mm. years on the road, never did it. <laughs> Damn, had really? all the opportunities. They put stuff, they put their, their number in your hand. They they'll come, they'll they'll sit out there, they'll wait. You know, guys do that. Yeah. But for I think females, it, I think no for women it's easier to kind of say no and yeah. like, right. mm-hmm. hold it down yeah. or not be tempted. Man, well, fortunately, right. y'all can masturbate now because we got you some toys. Yeah, Thank I'm you. So I mean, excited. I was doing it anyway, but thanks, girl. Well, I am satisfied. <laughs> well, we have to check this yeah, one. Exactly. I can't just put it in my carry It's your emotional support goes. penis oh, on, on your way yeah. back to LA. That's yes, it. Excuse me. <laughs> TSA is going to be interested when they check you gotta that put bag. That, please put that in your carry-on. Okay. And I am hoping and we that they stop it. you and go through your bag. They stop me and I'm going to film it. I'm going, this is Angela Yee's But you got to put it right on top. Like, right on top. Yeah. What is it you think is the best position think for that particular, <laughs> the D? What you? I would maybe sit. I don't know. Well, we got to ask you. Think that big before? Yeah, I mean, with the suction cup, you got to do it from the back. You got to bend over. That seems like painful. Cup. The back seems because. But also, let me tell you, guys try to hurt you from the back all the time. It depends yeah. on how you're. You got to control it. I feel like you got to get on top and control it. Yeah, you got to be the one oh, in control it. Okay, okay, listen, you got, okay. make sure you stand the top. You need a bottle of water before you use it. Let's see. You that thing use is two hands. big, man. You might need four hands. That thing is that's a monster. That thing is big. Yeah. Yeah, Who that... is human link? <laughs> that's not right. How do you think that is not right? It. Do not take me with this damn. <laughs> I'm trying to sell Tide. And you got me with this. I'm trying to sell Tide. <laughs> Let me that see. Show us the balls. Pig, oh my man. god! Do y'all, y'all, everybody that plays with the great. balls, right? Or no? Was it that it's, thick when you? Yeah, I couldn't even get my hand around it. That's how thick it was. So let me see. see. Oh, yeah. She said, yeah. "Let me see." That's all right. Bring it. Yeah, he was a gentleman <laughs> and a scholar. If this oh, was a no. cake, it would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about right. She's like, "Yep, that's oh, it." You gotta, yeah. have, you gotta have. Nails let me see how wide your mouth opens. Oh wow! No, but not okay. that wide. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Oh. That thing is heavy. <laughs> Who is fucking that? Okay, it's just, yeah. I would have to pass on that. Yeah, yeah. What if I'm I was a challenge? I always yeah. go for a challenge. challenge. I love a big dick, so I'm gonna always try. I I'm like a, big dicks, and I can't I always gonna go. try. <laughs> Well, Lonnie, thank you so much. This was really fun having you on. Thank you for letting me join. If you can't walk so much fun. tomorrow, we know why. <laughs> <laughs> TMZ is going to catch you limping. Yeah. Yeah. It was really like, what happened? <laughs> but I'm excited to see you at Essence. You said thank it's renamed you. what? It I mean, is I'll put, yeah, definitely put that down before you start talking about Essence. Essence. <laughs> <laughs> Essence Dick uh, Festival. Oh my God. <laughs> Essence Festival of Culture. I know you put that dick on the floor. Yeah, I did. I put it on Don't the floor. Don't put that dick like on the purse. floor. That's bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> we got to hide it. Yeah, we got to hide it. Mm-hmm. July 1st through the 5th, <laughs> ladies come down, bring your toys. We're going to have a good time. I with Bruno Mars right. and Janet Jackson. So, and Angela Yee and I will be in the bag. And the oh, big D. Listen. Yes, and know. I just want to thank you because, Lonnie, every time I see you, you are so nice to me. It's amazing. And I feel like, you know, whether or not you know it, we're friends. We so are. I'll be like, that's my girl, Lonnie. And I'll be posting selfies of us and everything. So, I, I appreciate too. you for always being so welcoming. You keep doing what you're doing. I'm so proud of you and support whatever you do. And, you know, I'm just happy to know you, girl. Oh, cheers no. to that. Cheers. cheers. And I can say I gave you a dildo. <laughs> yeah. I'm know. so excited about it. Actually, Changing look, I'm lines. spilling everything. I can't wait. <laughs> and Carolina, thank you. Me. This is your first time actually guest yes. hosting. And I've been wanting you to do this for a while. Thank you for having me. I'm just, uh, I, again, I'm such a fan. I love my women. And I love the fact that I get to work with you every single day, even though we're 
we're not in the same pod. I just, I celebrate my you fellow said pod women. like it's uh, Love is Blind. Oh my God, that is the best show ever. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the best show. Yes. Yeah. But it was so great to meet you, yes, Chloe. Absolutely. And you. How do I say your name? Avian. 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 Yeah. Okay, yes. But this is so much fun. Awesome. Awesome. And time. Chloe, who I've known for quite some time, I but I love seeing how you've blossomed into a stand up comedian Thank for you. so long. And still, you still write for. Um, yeah, I do some writing. Yeah, I do more now since I started writing a book. I, it was like a shift. I hadn't written in almost 10 years. And then mm-hmm. now I open up. Her book is hilarious, by the way. Fuck your diet. I need you to have read a chance. Yeah, Absolutely. Pick it up. Yes. And Avian, of course, you know, that's Thank my you. girl. I love you. Avian has host, <laughs> guest hosted on the show many times, but I'm just happy we all managed to coordinate schedules. Chloe, it was hard to get you. Yes. You've been I out know. of town so I'm much, here. but I appreciate y'all. And Lonnie, Aww. make sure you pick up her book as well. Also, you're on tour too, right? Yes. Ladies Night Out with NeNe Leakes and Sherry Shepard, Adele Givens. You mm-hmm. can check Ladies Night Out or check out my Instagram. NeNe Leakes was just on too. Yeah, I saw that one. That was, that was so great. Good. She was talking mm-hmm. about FaceTiming, Greg FaceTiming one of the girls mm-hmm. in, in her uh, boutique or whatever. Mm-hmm. We need to get these girls a dick appointment after this. So. <laughs> 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 uh, what you think? What? Hold on, let me make a call. No, oh. <laughs> and Adele Gibbons, one of my She's favorite jokes from her was when she talked about sucking a small dick. It's like trying to give a whale a tic tac. Yes. Yeah. Gosh. That's a classic. Classic. She is great. Really hurt somebody's feelings with that. Great person, though. <laughs> All right, Lonnie Love, first time on Lip Service. Yeah. Yeah. You, you gotta grab the big D Go off smack the floor, it. though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two hands, baby. Where is it? She can't.